It's Kentucky against the Bowden in Nashville for a second straight year. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you breaking down the 10th annual Gaylord Hotels Music City Bowl. Last year it was Kentucky beating Clemson and Tommy Bowden 28-20. The question this year though, will Bobby Bowden have to play? Obviously kidding, but the winningest coach in college football history is bringing a very shorthanded team to the bowl game. An academic cheating scandal, the cause for commotion this time around. And when you combine that with injuries, 36 different Seminoles players will not make the trip to Nashville. Here are just a few of the notable names that you won't see in the bowl game for one reason or another. Quarterback Xavier Lee, who wouldn't have started but did a couple games this season. You won't see linebacker Dakota Watson, who was third on the team in tackles for loss and sacks. And you won't see cornerback Patrick Robinson, who led the team with six interceptions. Now, those are just three of the names not on the travel squad that were on the team's roster. That's how the number of 36 was determined because based on privacy laws, FSU not allowed to give out the players' names. Now, where it will hurt this team, obviously, is depth. Something, especially offensively, they didn't have a lot in the first place. 90th in the nation scoring, just 22 points per game, and again, the rushing attack was horrid. Last season finished 103rd in the nation, this season 96th at just over 121 a game. Starting quarterback Drew Weatherford, he did get better as the season went on, having probably his best game in the win at then number two Boston College, but just eight touchdown passes and just 58% completions. And with the fact that a lot of the defense will be missing for this game, it could be tough for FSU to slow down Kentucky. The Wildcats behind Andre Woodson's arm, the 14th best scoring offense in the nation, and are back-to-back -back bowl games for just the fourth time in school history. A very balanced attack when you add Raphael Little in the backfield. But certainly it starts with senior quarterback Andre Woodson, named second team All-SEC, leading the conference with 36 touchdown passes. And despite the increase in interceptions from 7 last year to 10 this season, he did have a span from 06 to 07 where he threw 325 consecutive passes without a pick, most ever in the football bowl subdivision. This Wildcats senior class collectively has said this game very important. They're very proud to have made Kentucky a program again, but have acknowledged the fact that this win would solidify the careers of all the seniors on the squad. Hopefully the academic scandal coming from Tallahassee won't overshadow everything once they actually do kick it off. It's the first meeting between Kentucky and Florida State since 1965, and it all gets underway at 4 p.m. Eastern on Monday, December 31st. For more on the sold-out Gaylord Hotels Music City Bowl, including info on who the experts pick, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horwitz. Enjoy a great bowl season, folks. Take care.